We're keeping an eye on today with the stories you need to know. Yeah, a man is in custody accused of attacking and robbing a female student on campus at the University of Georgia. UGA police arrested Tretavius Harris. Investigators believe he's responsible for the assault early Saturday morning near the North Campus parking deck. An officer found the victim on the sidewalk unconscious. UGA police say Harris is the only suspect wanted in this attack. An autopsy scheduled for today to confirm the identity of the person found believed to be Gabby Petito. The apparent remains of the 22 year old found over the weekend in Wyoming. Her fiance, who is a person of interest in her disappearance during a cross country road trip, has not been seen in about a week. R. Kelly's lawyers are starting to lay out their defense in a Brooklyn federal court. The prosecution rested its case yesterday. The singer is on trial on account of racketeering over allegations of sexual exploitation of kids, kidnapping and forced labor. Officials are banning alcohol on the beach at St. Simons Island the weekend of the big Georgia Florida football game, also known as a big cocktail party for some folks. <laughs> Glenn County leaders making that decision to discourage big crowds during the pandemic. So called Frat Beach has become a hot spot for Bulldog fans and on their way to the game in Gainesville, Florida. The booze ban in effect October 29th through the 30th. This week, FedEx is looking to hire thousands of people in Atlanta. The company is preparing for the holiday season by hosting in-person and virtual hiring event on Thursday for the in-person locations or how to apply virtually. You can go to CBS46.com.